Hey, everybody, we're going to give it another few minutes here, just seeing everybody starting to um, jump in. Um, again, everybody will be muted. You can chat in your questions throughout the seminar. We'll be going over questions mostly at the end. Um, I do have some guest speakers, and they'll be answering questions as well. One thing is that we will also be, re um, when we record these seminars, we make them public in the uh, Boomtown Sales Hub, which I'll also go over. But again, we'll start right at uh, 8 a.m. sharp. And for those who are just jumping on, we're going to begin here in a few minutes. Please chat in your questions or chat in um, any questions or concerns if you have um, you trouble seeing the screen, trouble hearing our voice. All right, great. It looks like we have all our panelists here. Uh, to our panelists, I will be introducing you. When your um, slide comes up, so you'll obviously see your brand. You'll see your slide, and we'll get we'll get moving and uh, walk through your um, your slide together. Again, for those who are just joining, we're about to begin. Giving it another minute or so to let the last people jump in. Let me know if you have any questions seeing the screen. This is being recorded. Everyone will be muted. You can chat in your questions. All right. Thank you all for joining the uh, Point Sale Seminar. This is our fourth seminar. Um, today, we're going to go mostly over some of the strategic um, value-added services, um, a lot around the applications, actually. Now that the ad market is, you know, really um, starting to build up, a lot of new applications are coming in. They're, it's pretty awesome to see how um, merchants are starting to adopt, obviously, these, this new technology and these applications on the, uh, on the Point device. And uh, one thing that we'll also do is to make sure, um, you know, throughout the seminar, we're going to record this, and you can also chat in questions. Um, I'll make all the recordings and this deck available in our Boomtown Sales Hub. Just give me one moment here. Let me get a mute some panelists. All right, let's get going. These seminars are focused around the feature updates. They're focused on new applications. They're focused on, you know, frequently asked questions. You know, it's really about the sales reps who are kind of already selling. If your team does need software training, operational training, please email me. We can always um, assist with more training on the software, the generic software of a point, not just mission control, but really walk them through really anything they need um, out in the field. And if your sales reps are struggling, definitely get them in contact with me so I can kind of go over some strategic um, advantages uh, in selling point. I'm um, also in some of the past seminars, we talked more about strategy, or again, in this seminar, we're going to be speaking more about um, some of the value-added services in the third-party apps. You can always go to the Boomtown Sales Hub. This is where I actually have updates, sales content, marketing collateral, third-party apps, a bunch of different content and information there for, um, that is public. You can have, um, you know, basically introductions to all the third-party apps with their, with their email, phone number. Um, most of the third-party apps, actually every single one in the Boomtown market, um, has a sales team and a support team. It's one thing that we vet before we let them into the uh, the point uh, market. So 
Um, as Point introduces us to these teams, we don't, again, work with the third-party apps unless they have a sales team or support team that is willing to work with you and obviously help you get some sales across the line. Um, here's our agenda for today. We do have a, a, some great guest speakers, so we're going to jump into the, um, you know, I want to jump into some new uh, business applications as well, and then we'll go over some feature updates and, um, you know, some new updates on Point in general. Um, but I'm going to actually start today with the uh, the Point HQ app, and the reason I'm going to start with this is I've taught a lot of you on on how to sell um, Point, how the software works, um, work with a lot of different sales reps, but we actually haven't really talked much about the Point HQ app, which is a really great value-added service for the merchant. Um, all merchants actually have access to a HQ app on their iOS or an, um, Android. So on their smartphone, they can go in there and they can really um, walk through all the reports and get kind of a live instance of everything that's happening on their uh, on their Point device. So they can really monitor their business from home. Now, they also have Point, Point.net on um, their desktop at home, but this is just a really great service that, uh, you know, it, it's kind of that new age. It really does help you sell that future-proof all-in-one terminal. The fact that a merchant has one terminal, um, one location, or multiple terminals, multiple locations, they can really go through and get, um, you know, instant reports, notifications, everything they everything they want. And um, just, you know, again, these slides will be available. Um, I put the whole deck in here on the Point HQ app, but we're just going to go through some highlighted features that I really think are, are valuable for um, for your merchants. Um, one thing is just this straight up, you know, sales and, you know, latest transaction, everything's in real time. So they're getting live reports on uh, how many customers came in today, things that are going to be really important to the merchant. I'm probably really interesting to the merchant as well, right? Um, if I owned a business, I'd be very, I'd probably be very proactive in, in looking and seeing how my business is doing, especially when I'm not there, and especially in the F&B market when, you know, the, their business is their life. That's what they have. And um, really one of the things that, again, I'm going through these slides fast. Present, I'll be providing these after the, uh, after the seminar. The one thing that's also nice is the transactions tab where you can go in there, you can, opt, um, you know, refund the transaction, void transactions. You can see the unsuccessful, the refunded transactions on the right side here where um, you can do it by category, um, really go through and, and kind of see everything that's happening. Not, so not just monitor your business, but actually um, edit and really um, take control of your business from a, from a mobile location. As you can see here, um, one thing that it allows you to do is you can swipe through and see the transaction history of each of the transactions. Um, you can actually add tip. Um, you know, adjust tip later. Um, you can basically add a signature there as well. Um, one of the things that's really important for me is that they're, they're starting to get that customer capture as well. So having kind of the loyal customers who's spending the most money at your establishment, the, the fact that the, the Point HQ application is showing you this is going to be really um, something that's, that's pretty neat for your merchant. Um, you can settle out and do batch from the, um, excuse me, batch out from the application as well. So, you know, when I'm showing this to a lot of salespeople, I think they didn't even realize that you can do so much from the mobile application side. Um, one of the other things that's really neat, besides kind of settling um, out the batch here and, and opening the batch, getting the reports, all that fun stuff, is you can actually do a um, transaction from the device. So you can actually add in the transaction, you can batch out, but you can, you can key in a transaction from the mobile app. You have to enable it, and let me go down to this part right here, and, but... Um, you have to enable the transaction, but right here, really on the right side, you can key in and um, and basically do a transaction from your phone. So what do you mean by enable it? Well, you just have to send a request to Boomtown to make this um, available to your, your merchant. Um, it's just kind of a, you know, um, a workaround right now. We'll probably make this more automatic in the future, but it's really great with the manual entry because you can go in there and you can also buy paper rolls right from the application. Um, there is a paper roll app that's now available on the point terminal but being able to buy it right from the application as well, again, it gives, it gives them the owner a little bit more con control of their business. It gives them the ability to go in there and, uh, you know, at any time, no matter where they are, really, uh, you know, do anything that they need to obviously um, run their business. I do love the notifications as well. What's really fun about the notifications is you can kind of set it up so you're getting, um, you know, batch out notifications, you're getting um, settlements, you're getting new purchases, um, you, again, it it's just depends on how involved you are with your business, but something that's really, really awesome and helpful for the merchant um, who maybe does have multi-location and a little bit more enterprise focused and uh, really wants to see kind of the everyday again when they're, when they're away. So as, of, as I mentioned, today we're going to go over a lot of the new business applications. What's really important about that is that, uh, you know, the app market is starting to take off. And Boomtown is vetting every single app. We make sure, again, they do have a sales team. They do have a support team. So when you get stuck or the merchant has more questions, 
you're not kind of there with your hands up. We want people who are involved, people who are actually willing to help out. And, um, you know, I want to talk about two new applications um, here real quickly, and then we have some guest speakers. But Factor 4 is a gift card and loyalty application. Um, you can customize the gift cards. You can basically reload, reissue within the system. You kind of have your own module online. But what's really nice about this application is it syncs up right with Point. You download it, and there are um, pretty low-cost fees to, to get going for the gift card. So this is one of the first gift card applications on Point. Pretty excited about that. Um, we got we just got in touch with our team a few weeks ago. We do have merchants already using it. So feel free to reach out. The contact information is below. You can always reach out to me if you want an introduction. Um, Bar Pro is just released as well. So Bar Pro has um, a whole bunch of different drink recipes. Um, obviously, you know, you can add recipes, you can edit recipes, but it has most of the generic, you know, 16,000 actual drink recipes that maybe your bartender needs access to. Um, so pretty pretty neat there, but they also have the uh, age verification tool. This is pretty awesome, so you can swipe the um, ID and you can do an age verification. Again, this isn't making it official that you can now serve this person, but it does give it um, a little bit more, you know, it's, it's okay to serve, um, you know, swiping the ID, um, putting in the, the date, all that information. Contact Sean um, at recipego.net. Again, pretty cool feature for, again, the, the bar um, the bar merchants, merchants who maybe do have a crazy, uh, you know, do have a crazy list of, of drinks and they need uh, their bartenders have access as well as age verification. You can actually use that across different industries, which is pretty neat. Um, and I'm actually talking with them kind of about the cannabis industry as well. So I know in Colorado, Washington, California, age verification is really important when you walk into these establishments. So even kind of using this tool as a, you know, using that feature for, you know, basically um, different industries as well than just bartending. So guest speakers, first I have uh, Tyler here. Let me go see if he's um, unmuted. Give me one second. All right, Tyler, are you with us? Tyler from a breeze. All right, let me just see if he's there. Give me one second. Tyler, if you can uh, hear me, I am. Um, you might be on mute. I will go right into uh, List Builder until we hear Tyler. But List Builder is a new application which connects with your email marketing platform. So this is pretty pretty amazing because it syncs up with your email marketing um, platform, you know, real easily where you don't have to, uh, you know, basically every time a merchant enters their email, you don't have to go record that email and put it into one of your um, email marketing programs. So yeah, as you can see, MailChimp, Constant Contact, SendGrid, these are all very, very popular email marketing platforms for merchants, especially uh, restaurant merchants or retail merchants that are, you know, have, um, you know, have that email list that they're constantly um, using. What's nice about this, though, is, Tyler. Uh, hey, Tyler, how are you, man? Hey, sorry about that. You're doing yeah, a great no job. Yeah, no worries. So I just, <laughs> just um, you know, one thing that was pretty uh, interesting from my background, too, Tyler, as you know, I worked at ZenReach, which is a smart Wi-Fi technology company. We collected emails over um, Wi-Fi, branded Wi-Fi, and then we helped merchants market those customers automatically. Um, one of the things that was so compelling about that is just seeing the ROI on email marketing and how important that is for a local business. I personally, and people can call me an idiot, but I, I personally think SMS texting is still a little, um, it, it, it's just a little um, pervasive right now. I, I don't like that, you know, I don't like when people text me marketing, but when I get email, I think it's in today's age, it's, it's still the way to go. It's the way to kind of hit me with some marketing, but it's not too aggressive. It's the way to kind of get in my, um, you know, get me to come back or um, obviously, you know, give me some new kind of loyalty or uh, promotion to, to lead me back to the business. Um, you know, so really excited about List Builder, kind of talking about how it does sync up automatically through the point system to your, your customer data list. Um, you know, if you don't have one of these content contacts or MailChimp, what does that look like? Does it kind of put it in a, a CSV file for you? Um, is it still collecting the email? Yeah, so the emails will be collected and ready for you whenever you do set up um, an email marketing system. Um, we're going to be adding more uh, systems as well as time goes on. So if there is another system that emergency is using, um, we'd be interested to hear about that. Um, but yeah, so when the merchant installs the app, essentially anytime a new customer is detected in a point that has an email address and isn't already um, approved to receive promotions, um, it'll show that pop-up there on the right side. And the employee who's working at the device um, can ask the customer, do they, do they want to receive promotions, yes or no? And if they select yes, um, that email address is automatically synced over to their um, to their email marketing system that they've set up through List Builder. Um, so it's a very easy process, and so much of it is automated um, that it really takes it out of the hands 
um, of any one individual person to remember to upload it or anything like that. So um, the value for merchants that you can um, bring to the table here for them is there's a lot of famili familiarity here with these tools that we connect point to. So MailChimp and Constant Contact in particular, um, over 70% of small businesses are using one or the other for their email marketing. Um, so that's a pretty and isn't big MailChimp swap. or don't they have a free program? One of them, even, even if like you're new to this as a merchant and you don't want to start paying for an email marketing platform, you want to mm -hmm. test it out first. Doesn't MailChimp have kind of like your first 2,000 emails are free to use? Yeah. So if you have less than 2,000 subscribers on your email list, uh, MailChimp has a free tier for you to use. Um, so you can get up and start and get started with that for free um, for no additional charge and get that going. Um, you know, a lot of these email marketing companies do a lot of um, national um, advertising and branding. Um, so if you're able to bring to the table um, a smart uh, terminal that connects to these and you can bring that name recognition, um, that can carry a lot of value as well for merchants as well as familiarity um, and comfort um, with the solutions that you're bringing to them. And then also, gotcha. I mean, a big point here um, with list builders, Joey, is that it um, brings value beyond the point of sale and beyond the terminal. So it helps merchant C point as a business solution and not just a uh, payment terminal. And then it drives repeat business. So like you were saying before, email marketing has a huge ROI for them. Um, and with List Builder, you can set up automated follow-ups um, to send emails out to customers, you know, a week after they came in, a month after they came in, two months after they came in, um, to just keep the business uh, front of mind for them, along with their newsletters, et cetera. How often are the email addresses synced up with the email marketing system? Yeah, so it's within every 10 minutes um, of a new um, customer coming on board. It'll be synced into their email marketing platform. So um, that's why you know, any okay. email of your customers that have come in 10 minutes before they send out a newsletter um, will be there and ready for them to uh, send to. Awesome. And uh, you know, what is let's say like what is the average number of subscribers a merchant gets? let's say per day using List Builder? Yeah, so right now on Point, um, we're seeing on average 22 um, new subscribers uh, per day per merchant. Um, so if you extrapolate that out you know, per business day, um, that can really be a big email list really quick. Um, so especially for new businesses um, that are just starting out, um, starting this from day one can really give them a step up in the competition and making sure that they're uh, building an email list and building that loyalty and building those repeat customers. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome, man. Um, is there like a free trial? Can merchants kind of, I know that, you know, if the merchants who are using email marketing already, this is kind of a home run feature for them. They're like, okay, great. I literally don't have to put much more work into it. I just keep um, business as usual and I'm capturing each of the emails that come through from my customers that's going right to my customer database. Um, is there a free trial for merchants who maybe want to try this out or get things moving um, and are a little intimidated for the first time using kind of email marketing? Yeah, so um, List Builder itself has a 30-day free trial, um, and then after that it's $9.99 uh, per month. And then for the email marketing platforms, like I said, um, MailChimp does have that free tier, um, so if they have less than 2,000 subscribers, it'll be free. Um, and then uh, Constant Contact comes along with a free trial as well. Um, so you'll have to check out their particular websites for their pricing. Um, a couple of things I'd like to go over here um, are the value for salespeople, folks that are reselling point um, that List Builder brings to the table. So first off, like I said before, it has more features that you can sell. So it takes point beyond that payment terminal by introducing these valuable, easy to understand features for merchants. The second one um, is that it makes point more of a sticky solution. So since it goes beyond the, the point of sale or the payment terminal, um, List Builder actually drives business after it's set up. Um, we work with one yeah. pretty big national. Um, one of our customers is a very big national brand. Um, and in talking with them about List Builder, um, as they're using it, they were thrilled to use it um, because they said, in their calculations, each new email address is worth $10 to them. So every new email subscriber that yep. they get is worth $10. Um, and that's not, a, that's not a crazy number for a lot of small businesses that they can, you know, continue to act on this and drive more business using these subscribers. Um, so this brings a lot of value to the table if they're averaging 22 um, new email subscribers a day. Yeah, um, absolutely. And, and one thing that, you know, a lot of merchants I've, I've known are just seasonal too, so this is great for them to be like, look guys, we're back, or, you know, here's where we're going to be the next convention, um, especially in the point world where it's maybe sometimes smaller merchants 
uh, you know, their email list is everything. A lot of them are driving to their e-commerce site. A lot of them are driving, you know, their customers back to their social media. So that email list is just super, super, um, super powerful for those local businesses. Um, I have a few questions for you, Tyler, that are coming in. Um, is List Builder an opt-in program or opt-out? I think we're I think we're talking on the customer side. So if you are mm -hmm. entering your email on the customer checkout screen, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, if you could go back two slides. Um, yep. There's a screenshot there, um, and this is what it looks like on the um, merchant-facing side of the device. Um, after mm -hmm. the customer has entered in their email address into the point device, that screenshot to the right is shown to the employee. So it shows the employee, ask the customer, would you like to receive promotions? And then they ask yep. the customer that, and they can swipe um, you know, right for yes or left for no. Um, and so if the, if the customer opts out and chooses not to receive email marketing, their email address will not be sent to the um, through List Builder. Gotcha. Um, whereas if they do opt in, there, it will be sent. Is there a limit to the amount of emails that's being included in the list? No, absolutely not. So no limitations. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> yeah, that was one of the questions that we had through. So just confirming there, no limitations. Um, pretty awesome. And I mean, just kind of, you know, what's also nice about these programs too, Tyler, is if you capture the email and the consumer, um, customer doesn't want to be on it, there's always an unsubscribe button. I think in today's age, people are pretty used to this, and I don't think it's too abrasive if you're, again, I think it's the, the SMS marketing is which is kind of abrasive. I think the email marketing is actually the the, new age, most efficient way to, you know, send a thank you to your customer after they, they come in. Um, you know, I know a lot of, uh, you know, working in kind of email marketing platforms in the past, um, you said it perfectly. Like, there's a there's a number there for each customer that comes back. There's a number for each customer that joins your list and how, um, you know, how much it's worth. And, and we could get sometimes even like, you know, with larger restaurants or larger retail shops, you know, each customer could sometimes even be worth $20. Um, but it's pretty cool to see that, you know, you guys have built this for, um, for Point. We're really excited to get a breeze. Obviously, your, your company involved now. You guys have wonderful applications that you built for other payment terminals. So I'm sure this is the first of, of many. Um, here's mm -hmm. some contact information for Tyler as well. Um, Tyler, anything else you want to add to the uh, – well, we got you. Yeah, so one thing, one thing I do want to point out on that previous slide um, is that there's a there's a little way that you guys can find prospects that are already using some of these um, email marketing platforms in your own email inbox. Um, so if you search in your email inbox for safe unsubscribe, all one word, um, that'll show you all the businesses that are using constant contact that have already sent you an email. Um, so if you just look through that list, you'll see a lot of businesses that you recognize um, that would be great candidates for using List Builder and Point. Similarly, if you search for list hyphen manage that'll show you all the emails that you've received from folks that are using MailChimp. So just by doing those two simple searches, you'll see a number of great businesses um, that you have already patronized that are already using these services that would also benefit from you introducing them to Point and List Builder. So hopefully that's a little uh, trick that you can use um, going forward. Um, and, you know, we're really looking forward to working with you um, on the Point platform. So thanks again, Joey. Yeah, absolutely, guys. And, and Tyler's really great to work with. His team is, um, you know, super transparent. They're the kind of group that will, will help you sell. So feel free to reach out, send them your questions. Um, you know, I was at a, a conference with Tyler where he basically was on stage and he even said, you know, search um, exactly what he just went over through the find MailChimp and constant contact. And, and you would see that in your email. <laughs> it's like over 80% of the emails you, you that are probably from those two marketing platforms. So Something that we're already used to, um, just kind of might need, your merchant might need some education. If not, um, you'd be surprised at how many of your merchants already have an email marketing platform. So thank you, Tyler, from a breeze um, for, for building List Builder, and we'll be talking with you soon. Next, I got David um, coming in from um, Davo Technologies. David, are you there? I'm here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, sir? I'm well. How's everybody? Good, good. And, uh, you know, one thing, you know, that I've, I've kind of strived on, David, is just, uh, you know, we're only going to work with applications that uh, have great people to work with. And obviously, you know, just like Tyler, I've worked with you on many different other occasions and, you know, very excited to have you in the point market as well. Um, you guys are great to work with. I know that you're the, you're the kind of team that, you know, I give you a lead or give you a sales rep and you'll, you'll kind of handhold the deal until it's, it's complete. So excited to have you on here and uh, learning more about your uh, stable sales tax application. 
Uh, do you want to give us a nice little intro um, of your team and uh, about, about, uh, excuse me, about the new app? Sure. So uh, real quickly, our team, uh, I came out of the restaurant business uh, 17 years in it, and sales tax was a huge struggle for me in my business. Uh, I've since, or over time, learned that it's a huge struggle for the majority of businesses, and uh, that was the reason that we developed the Davo Sales Tax app. Uh, we're based in Portland, Maine. We have a great uh, operations team here. Um, very, very responsive uh, when people call. We get back to people within the hour. Uh, if there's not a pickup when they actually call. Um, I also like to share my own personal uh, phone number with everybody because I'm here to support efforts, sales efforts at any turn. So. Awesome. Thank you so for that. Is, and, um, yeah, I want to go in this first slide we have here, kind of showing you what it, what is the, uh, how does Davo sales tax work? Yeah, so the big problem with sales tax for merchants is, um, it's having money available when it's time to pay their sales tax. So sales tax is a monthly payment, and it's paid to the state. It's not paid to the federal government. This is a state tax payment. You guys are all familiar with setting up a tax rate in points. Every time you uh, sell something, you have to collect the merchant collects a little bit of sales tax. And the problem is the sales tax gets deposited into their bank accounts, and uh, they end up spending it. When it comes time to pay it the following month, they, they actually don't have that money. Um, 20% of merchants in the United States are behind. Most states actually publish a list of merchants who are behind. It's a great sales tool. Uh, and we actually have a list, all the links of the states that have those lists of merchants who are behind. They're obviously those are the ones who are struggling with sales tax. So the way Davo solves this problem is uh, we integrate, obviously, with Point. They download our app. Uh, Davo sets the money aside daily. We actually take a sales report out of Point. From that, we read how much sales tax the merchant collected that day, um, and we issue an ACH to the merchant's bank, transfer the sales tax collected uh, that particular day to our tax holding account at Wells Fargo Bank. And we repeat that every single day. We take the sales report out of point, we issue the ACH transfer, and we transfer the sales tax collected that day to our tax holding account. Then to complete the cycle, we file and pay for the merchant on time, in full, doesn't matter whether they're a monthly filer or a quarterly filer. This changes state by state. It may change based on the amount of revenue the merchant is doing. Um, so it's really a pretty simple process. The beauty of this application is that once the merchant signs up for it, they do absolutely nothing. The entire process yeah. is actually done behind the scenes. Yeah, it's obviously something that's pretty complicated if you don't know the world too well of um, obviously sales tax. Dave, who are, who are the right merchants for this? Who are the ones that you should be kind of targeting with this, this application and, and that you're going to obviously drive a lot of value for? So 70% of our current merchants are actually in the food and beverage industry. I came out of the restaurant business. Uh, these people are vastly overworked and underpaid, so I'll tell you that. And they're all looking for ways to make their life easier and ways to check this something off of their to-do list. And Davo does that. So most of these yes. merchants out there are are paying a bookkeeper to do this. They're paying their accountant, they're paying their bookkeeper, and they're paying 100 bucks a month. So right off the yeah. bat, Davo does this for $40 a month. And not only we just file and pay, but we actually put that money aside for that, which is, again, the biggest hurdle for the merchants. Uh, they don't have to worry about running reports for their bookkeeper. They don't have to worry about forgetting about the deadline. I know when I had my business, that deadline just always came up, you know, oh, i got to pay my sales tax yeah. tomorrow. Constantly chasing a deadline. Um, now, most states require you to log into a uh, e-file, so you don't have to remember your passwords and logins. We take care of that. Uh, you don't have to fill out the tax forms. Merchants spend zero time managing their sales tax. And you have to remember, for yeah. sales tax, they gain zero benefit as well. This is not like they're making money from collecting sales tax. They make no money. They have no benefit. So yeah. you try and do this as cheaply as possible. Dave, um, one question I just got is, you know, who's reliable or who's liable, excuse me, for uh, reporting our tax issue if using Davo? So uh, the merchant is responsible for their data. It is the merchant's responsibility to make sure that Point is programmed correctly to correct the correct amount of sales tax. Um, okay. We take it from there. 
We are responsible for making sure that it is filed and paid on time. If we do not file and pay it on time, we will pay the fines and penalties. Just so you know, these fines and penalties are really, really steep. In some states, they're as yeah. high as 25% of what a merchant owes. State of Florida, you're three months behind. It's actually a felony offense. They'll put you in jail. So it's, it's pretty drastic if you miss your sales tax payment. Yeah, absolutely. And how would I shape? I mean, how would I shape this sale for a merchant? I know that the one thing you don't want to do is intimidate merchants on. Oh, by the way, like you know, here's point, and here's here's a you know here's something that you're going to need. These are sales tax. What are what are some good ways to kind of position this for the merchant? So you again, you're driving a lot of value. You're driving a lot of um, you know, a lot of information to them and saying, you know, here's a great feature for you that maybe you have a multi-location, you have kind of a QSR type restaurant, um, something that'll probably be more hard to track sales tax. What are some of the, what's kind of the pitch that you give to the merchant? So it's really simple. We ask the simple question, how do you manage sales tax? This, in general, yep. will open up a conversation, a very, very easy conversation, because everybody, it's a pain point for everybody, and nobody likes doing it. So you're going to hear from the merchant, ah, I was just late on my sales tax, ah, I just paid it, I hate paying it. It's an emotional, visceral response from the merchant. And yep. what we find is when you ask, how do you manage your sales tax, Point actually has a solution. And one of the things we tell people is on this right here, one of the reasons, number five, DAVA does for sales tax what ADP does for payroll. Merchants understand this. ADP manages payroll taxes for merchants. Most merchants use a payroll service, whether it's Paychex, Gusto, ADP. They understand that analogy. And they also have never heard this before because there's no other solution in the market that does daily cash management of sales tax and then files and pays it. There's no other solution yeah. that actually takes over this responsibility for the merchant. And once you ask that question, how do you manage sales tax, you will get their attention. And it and, uh, looks like here, you know, you guys are willing to help always, you know, Dave, knowing you from your past, you're always willing to help with the sale, but you're also kind of incentivizing. Um, you can work out incentives with the different, you know, banks, ISOs, resellers that we have, um, work with their direct managers on, on getting incentives to those reps if needed. This is correct. So we've actually built into our price uh, a SIF program. It's part of our monthly subscription of $39.99. We have budgeted that as, um, as part of that is um, on a SIF. For selling the app and anybody who's interested in this happy to have them you know reach out to me and uh, I will go over it it's pretty aggressive and um, been very successful with a couple of uh, partners yeah absolutely I've seen you at a lot of conferences lately I know that we've said hi and uh, we've gotten a lot of traction with uh, with the type of groups that are on this call right now um, are you available to jump on calls with the merchant are you available to jump on the sales team are you available to help them close the deals what does that look like for your group uh, all of the above this is my direct dial. Um, I have uh, I have ISOs asking me to come and join their calls. Banking partners asking me to come and join their calls all the way down to the branch level. Um, you're free to give out my phone number to merchants uh, if they have questions about sales tax, especially in the restaurant uh, vertical where they're using these like, third-party order apps that create huge sales tax liabilities if they're not managed correctly. Uh, we're happy to help merchants board the app and download the app. Um, as you see, my personal phone number, my direct dial is there. It's there to be used. I encourage people to put it in your phone. If you have questions about sales tax, we are the people to call. Dave, thank you so much for joining. This is great. Really excited to learn more about this. And uh, obviously, um, as everyone knows, I'll be passing out this slide in our uh, sales hub, so you'll have the ability to contact David if you didn't get the information right here. But really, really nice of you to just even give your direct line, you know, let, let these salespeople become comfortable in, in selling your, your, your product. So, David, thanks so much for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. All right, next we got eHopper. So I want to talk about eHopper. Uh, let me just see if I can get uh, Lorena up here. Give me one second. Lorena, are you there with us? I'm here. I hope you can hey, hear me okay. You? Good. How are you? How's everybody doing? Good. Everything's been going great. And, uh, you know, I've been definitely pushing a lot of eHopper lately to um, a lot of the sales reps who are looking for more of a sophisticated POS option on the point device. Um, you know, a lot of the uh, a lot of the merchants are looking for more, be more, you know, let's say kind of, um, you know, they have a more inventory options. I know you guys can do about like 40,000 items. You guys have all this wonderful 
uh, software that will help with uh, even, you know, if you have a scale and you're, you're measuring, you know, different deli weights and different item size, customization. It's been pretty awesome to see how much you can do and how many kind of gaps you're filling in the point world for those merchants. But I would love to get a little background about your team and kind of what you're doing here in the market today. Sure, no problem. Um, so as you all may already know, eHopper is a POS software um, company that basically we've been around for 14 years, predominantly in the wireless industry and up until about two, three years ago, we went into the smaller um, business types, QSRs, bars, uh, bakeries, coffee shops. Um, we are located in New York and we are a product focused tech company. Um, what's really great about eHopper and the um, feedback that we received is that we are an agile driven product development software. So basically, you know, we really do listen and cater to the needs of, you know, small business owners and what they may need to make their businesses grow. Um, we really like to grow with our clients um, and that's why we made it a full featured um, POS software that is not only efficient and intuitive, it's extremely affordable. And with that, you know, we do offer um, with the, so the POS software is actually $39.99 per month. And what we do offer is that really white glove, um, that kind of that white glove um, service where we really help uh, smaller retails implement their software and really maximize the usage of our POS software. So a lot of the key benefits, um, a lot of the key benefits are we speed up sales with the easy to use software and hardware. Um, we say, you, you know, the clients save money with a complete POS solution. Um, we reduce human errors with integrated merchant services. Um, we work on, we're device agnostic, so we work on all devices, but our best seller is the point device. And like I said before, we offer full training um, support uh, by phone, email, and online. Um, Tell me a little bit actually, about this uh, offline mode, too, if you don't mind. I know we're here on the screen here. we got the offline mode ready. I get a lot of questions about offline. Oh, yes, of course. So basically, um, you can always process transactions on online on offline mode. Obviously, the credit card transactions, are, you know, don't really um, don't really work on the offline mode. But you can take uh, cash transactions and keep um, you know servicing your business uh, as normal, like business as usual um, when you're on offline. Except that, you know, obviously with the credit card you have to be connected. But um, what's really great, it does keep track of all the transactions, any sort of interaction that you have with your device on offline mode. Okay, great. And so, Rena, I'm a sales rep. I just got a merchant really interested. They're basically going to be moving forward. What does it look like from, you know, from that point? What, how involved is your team? When it comes to, I'm sorry, say that one more time. So basically, I just closed the merchant, or I got them really interested in the eHopper solution. Mm -hmm. What kind of next steps, or, or what does that look like, um, you know, from that point forward? So basically the way that we work with merchants is we really like to offer kind of a product demo, high level product demo to walk them all, walk them through the key features um, that they need to for whatever business type they're going after. Um, so for us, we really, you know, work with them to make sure that they're maximizing the key benefits of eHopper. Um, our merchants usually love our demos. Um, like I said, we help anything from reporting to uploading inventory to guiding to making sure that we're supporting all business types and making sure that they're fully educated on what our POS can do. Um, these here on the slide are the supported business types, quick service restaurants, fashion boutiques, vape shops. We actually have a very successful case study with um, vape shops. Um, we basically, because of the amount of SKUs that we offer, which is 40,000, vape shops really have been able to benefit from our POS. Um, we do small retail shops, food trucks, deli groceries, fast food and coffee shops, and our uh, service, our, our verticals are actually expanding. We're at, to this list, we're probably adding gun shops. Um, we noticed that a lot of these types of business owners do utilize eHopper, and it's been really helping their businesses grow. Yeah, one, um, you know, I reached out to you not too long ago. I was kind of, I was even kind of saying at the beginning that um, you know, you're in a deli or you're maybe even a yogurt shop and they're weighing out the, uh, they're weighing out the, um, you know, let's say, let's, let's say they're weighing a pound of turkey. I want to go into the software. I want to click turkey and then I want to enter the unit price. You're, you're able to do that on the eHopper software as well, right? Yes. What's really great is we just actually, um, like I said, we have an agile um, software development. So we're constantly making improvements and adjustments to our software to better service our clients. And we just did a new release 
where we're doing a full inventory matrix where that is actually one of the key features on the weighing the product. So it really does keep track of your product um, really down to what it actually cost to make a sandwich, how much you have left in inventory, and we're actually making more adjustments where, you know, customer, uh, our users will actually have inventory levels. Um, you know, whenever you get low, we would probably notify you to let you know that inventory level that you have. Yeah, absolutely. Let's say I'm a merchant, uh, a deli or a, let's, a liquor store. I got a lot of different items. I got a lot of um, inventory. What does that look like um, in regards to building my menu? Does the eHopper team help with that, or you know, do you have some solutions that make that easy? What's really great is we have a very robust knowledge base. So at any given point, anyone that has a complicated question or needs any help, our knowledge base has been extremely helpful for our customers. But the great thing about you know, paying that monthly um, $39.99 is that we really do help our customers, you know, upload that inventory, kind of alleviate the pain of getting everything set up and really saving them time and money by doing so. That's awesome. So, and so, yeah. yep, go ahead, go ahead. So here on this slide, these are our key uh, POS features. Um, obviously, we do anything from orders, tips, customers, inventory, employee management, reporting. We have partner integration, and we are actually building an app store where customers that use eHopper will actually be able to integrate with other apps, um, just like the ones that were featured on this call. Gotcha. And in your product pipeline, do you guys look to integrate with any kind of order ahead, um, let's say online ordering, or even, um, you know, let, let's say some of those applications today where you can order food um, or the uh, reservation application? Absolutely. We're definitely, that's definitely on the roadmap. Um, I think that's probably going to be executed within the, mo the next month or, month or two, um, but we are going to be integrated with Order Now, where it's going to make online ordering, ordering super easy for customers as soon as they walk into the store. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things I've been doing is helping a lot of the reps realize that they're replacing a lot of the credit card terminals with Point initially, right? That's mm -hmm. the whole idea. Go out there, replace credit card terminals with Point, and then as you get better at that, you know, start start driving a lot of these value-added services, especially these POS applications that can help you close larger, more sophisticated, and, and kind of the juicy merchants, the ones who are processing a lot of volume, right? Um, what are some of your sales pitches? What are some of the things that, you know, they should be talking about the sales reps when they're out there in person or when they're, when they're you know, prospecting their merchants? I think it's definitely, you know, the fact that we offer these really great reports that, you know, we have – the, we reduce the double entry, we have easier reconciliation, we have easier, quicker inventory management, um, security is a big selling point, um, decrease the fraud, protect cardholder data, um, the profitability, we're super quick, um, so we've no, we're known to speed up sales, increase beat, uh, repeat business, and really it's more about that inventory management that keeps our um, yep. customers extremely happy. Yeah, absolutely. That's been one that I've been pushing a lot of a lot of the sales reps um, over to you guys is when they have that, um, you know, they need more inventory um, management. They need better reporting for the inventory. I know that in generic mm -hmm. point software, it does an okay job. It does not do a great job um, when it comes to reporting. So, you know, if you're, if you're a merchant that values that, um, there's the ability to have the, the better reporting. I think that you, it's kind of a home run feature. And it looks like I have your pricing here, yep. um, kind of a, the POS values that we've already gone over. Um, the support, you said it was email, phone, you know, so they're not, you know, Boomtown does a really good job with the technical support, the how-tos mm -hmm. on point. Your team will be available for more of the POS software questions that are obviously related to eHopper. Yes, absolutely. I mean, our team really does um, a really great implementation uh, process where customers really, you know, the ones that don't really want to deal with the inventory management or don't want to do the tedious work, like our team really supports them. And that's the best part of, you know, signing up with the Freedom Package is that you really get that that um, white glove support. You know, we've been known for our customer service. So it's been, with the feedback has been phenomenal and the way that we work with Point has also been great. That's awesome. And I just got a question that came through about live inventory. Um, is there kind of like red flags in inventory, inventory management? Um, any, uh, any features there today? Um, we definitely do inventory management in real time. So the, the person okay. can log into their system at any time and, and, and know exactly what's happening with their business. Awesome. Okay, great. That's, that's really, really helpful. And uh, just want to make sure that we, could, we say that one more time to the audience here because I know that I've gotten that question a lot. Um, any other kind of key points or, you know, um, some information you want to leave us with today? 
I think for us, you know, we're tr really trying to develop this POS software to be as easy as, as, easy as possible to use, um, you know, really alleviate the headaches um, for any small business owner out there and really partner with key business owners. Like, that's the best part about eHopper is that we really do want to see these small business owners um, grow and we grow with them. That's why we're like available to help at any time and that's why we are so cost effective and we keep making these um, you know these product developments because we really do listen to our customers and the, the needs of you know what, what they really need to grow their business. Yeah absolutely. I, I love working with your team. It, you know um, you guys are really easy to get a hold of. You guys are always kind of participating, getting involved. So um, thank you so much for joining today. You know really look forward to uh, getting your information out to um, the team here. Uh, just so everybody knows, again, all the information in these decks will all be in uh, the Boomtown Sales Hub. Um, but yes, Lorena, thanks so much. Wonderful. Thanks for having me, Joey. All right. Just moving on. I'm going to finish up here soon, guys. But basically going into the uh, point update. Um, again, I'll make this um, available to you, this entire slide. Um, I did want to talk about one new report that you can actually generate a transactions report by the hour now instead of by the day. So as you can see here, you can actually do the uh, specific hours. I know that you can only do it by the day before. This was um, this was kind of troublesome for some merchants that um, did have maybe even batch out twice a day or did have a really, let's say, um, a busier environment, so they needed a little bit better reporting. So this is available now. Um, I'll also put in the release notes here for September. We went over some of this stuff um, during the last um, last seminar, but uh, on the device, the new icons that are now showing up on the uh, the point. Um, Spanish, Mandarin, I didn't actually um, tell you that French is now available as well. So the, the language packs being available um, to all your merchants, um, you can toggle this on or off on the terminal so you're not buying like a Spanish or French or Mandarin terminal, you're, you're just toggling this off or on in the, uh, in the software. Auto print order receipts, now you can kind of customize which, which printer is getting which type of receipts. Um, item receipt, order receipt, customer receipt, payment receipt, the manual shortcut entry we went over, and then the bulk delete products is also available within the um, within the point software. So I'll make sure that this is all available to you guys. Um, there is a new tax report on the dashboard, um, kind of going in line with what um, we were just talking about with David at uh, David Technologies. And then the last thing is the low battery notification on HQ. So on the mobile device, the HQ app that we talked about, you have the ability to see the low battery um, on, your, uh, on your device. But the one thing that I also talked about on the mobile HQ app is you can order paper. You can now order from the, um, the terminal as well. If you go into the third-party applications, you can order that new 30-foot roll um, paper. I know that it was 16 feet at first, and that was a little too a little too uh, short for some of the merchants. So now you can order the 30-foot uh, paper roll right on the point terminal or in the point HQ application. Uh, any other questions today? Feel free to just chat them in. Give me one second, looking to see. Yes, they do get alerts when the items are out, Joan. I just saw your question. Um, so when items are low, those uh, the inventory management, I know that for a fact that they do get actual, uh, um, they do get notifications. Can we uh, separate languages by merchant screen and customer screen? You can actually do it by terminal. So it should just be by terminal. I don't believe it's by like employee or by, uh, you know, if there's multi-mid or multi-merchant um, on the uh, device. I believe this is just by the terminal right now. We print receipts in different language. I believe that the, the, actually that's a really good question. I'll follow up on that. I believe that you can, um, but you can also customize the receipts as the merchant as well. So you can customize the digital receipt as well as you can add language um, to the printed receipt. So I know for a fact that you can do that as a manual. Um, you can manually enter you know, a different language and, and have that on the receipt, but I'll see if it actually prints in a different language um, depending on what the terminal looks like. Any other questions, feel free to keep writing them in. Yes, yeah, so Boomtown already has a grid of all the apps available. Um, we actually have this in our Boomtown sales hub. Let me go back up to this, give me one second. And um, get me up here, but I keep getting this question and we have built this for you. So here you are. I'm gonna actually, whoever just wrote that, I'm gonna give you this link. But uh, you can go to the Boomtown sales hub and I have all the third party apps in here. I'm sending you that link right now. All right, any other questions, feel free to reach me out. I'll stay in another uh, few minutes here. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining. Really uh, great working with you. Again, if you have any questions, just send them over to me, joeygoboomtown.com. We'll be um, going again here at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, thank you all for joining, and uh, look forward to hearing from you and uh, you know, obviously selling more points. Thanks a lot, guys.